So, y'all know what it is, man. We've been looking forward to Spider-Man Lotus for a minute, minute. They had the time to trail up to make sure they didn't clash with no way home. And they managed to do that. This thing is three minutes. I'm happy as hell. It's long. You know your boy like to talk. The hell is this? It was like he might be beat up. Ooh, this look good right here, baby. Shit. GK. Oh, wait. GJK. Damn, I don't know my fucking alphabets. That's fucked up. Coming in. Coming in. Coming out hot and tired. His life is in pieces. Oh shit, wait, wait, is it Gwen? Gwen getting ready to get clapped up? Don't think of this as a goodbye tape. Think of it more as a checking in tape. Mm. Let's go. The cinematography is so good in this joint. It is so good. My man came to the gravesite in a full costume. <laughs> no fuck giving. And then I miss you. I'm loving the white turtleneck from the comic books. I miss you, Gwen. Is that a Sony tape recorder? Ah! <laughs> mm. Gavin J. Cano. I never knew his name. My bad, man. Who is this little boy? You are his hero. So please give him something to believe in. I have no idea who the kid is. We all lost something. The capacity for good. But I think we gave something too. God, they made hot shit blood red. <laughs> Spider-Man. Not because I want to, but because I have to. Mm. Okay, that looked really good. Okay. I think they're still. I think they're still working on the special effects, though, because that was like the only real CGI heavy moment in the trailer. Is this this Green Goblin? <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's Norman, 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 Norman. <laughs> that is Green Goblin. Okay, so I'm sure that's probably him mocking him after the murder of Gwen. Probably, like, you know, trying to get inside his head and shit like that. That's not necessarily the... Uh, Sam Raimi moment where it's we are who we choose to be now choose but sort of kind of like an alternate take where he's mentally trying to torture him over the death of Gwen right anyway anyway this looks really good now I'm so glad that we have a fan film a short film that's not afraid to go deep for emotion a lot of fan films will try to stay away from emotional moments because a lot of times that'll require let's call it what it is acting and a lot of people in fan films don't really feel comfortable acting beyond the hiya 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 punches and kicks they can do that acting uh <laughs> Uh, not me because acting is hard 
But Lotus is going for that emotion, that gut punching emotion, where Peter's going to be going through mental trauma of, uh, Gwen died. If I continue to do this, more lives will be lost. More lives will be altered. Do I want to continue to go down this path as Spider-Man? Or do I want to just pack it up, tape it up, box it up, first day air, get the fuck out of this motherfucker. But we see him being Peter Parker, him being Spider-Man, he's going to continue to go. Not because he wants to, but because he has to. You see how I did that? Oh, come on, man. You see how I did that? Smart, right? Very smart. Now, the special effects look to be probably some of the best we've ever had from a Spider-Man fan film. I'm not quite sure from that little shot if they're going to be on the level of the Miles Morales short film. I have a whole reaction to it on my channel. Uh, the Miles Morales short film was really good in terms of special effects. Not quite cinematic, but definitely better than what you typically see on YouTube. And I'm not sure if the Lotus effects are going to be on that level. But from that Sam Raimi inspired moment, <laughs> woo! It looked good. Definitely looked good. You could tell that the person who put the the costumes together and really just the entire project is definitely a Spider-Man fan from the olden days, right? Not not trying to call the person old, because they're not old, but they're a Spider-Man fan from his 90s runs and up to where we are now because Peter Parker has the turtleneck on, the little suit, MJ's hair is not only like bloodshot red, but I think she had uh, the uh, the black sweater on, I think, in one shot. Wow, you are blind, blind. I'm not quite sure. From uh, that classic comic book panel. And then, obviously, Harry, through most adaptations, excluding the... <laughs> The adaptation where he had the waves and shit. <laughs> that motherfucker was a blood. That motherfucker was a crimp <laughs> in that iteration. But Harry with the messy hair and so on and so forth, right? So they're a fan of Spider-Man from his older days up till now. And hopefully we can see different incarnations have an impact on this short film. Spider-Man Lotus, y'all know we looking forward to it. I have no idea who the kid is. I have I have no idea. Somebody told me in the comment section before and I already forgot. But it is what it is. FTB. Fade the black nigga. When I pull up, she gonna look though. Look at he mad ain't look, bro. She bad as hell, but can't cook though. It don't matter, but you still watching me while I did it for the look though. A hundred feet worth of drip, don't drive this fly shit. That's the look though. And look though, look though. I'm the way you can look though. I'm something different, I don't think you get it, but I still did it for the look though. Look though, look though. Yeah, I did it for the look though.